hi modern fashion designers welcome back to class this is modern one apparel i want to thank all my subscribers and if this is your first time seeing us you're highly welcome please join us by clicking on the subscribe button turn on your notification bell so as to get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you so in today's class you're going to be doing a cow neck top with multiple pleats or drapes we already have different um, tutorials on cow neck top. We have the simple cow neck top as you can see. And we also have um, the cow neck top with collar. So whichever one you want to see, the link to the tutorials are on the comment section. So in this class, I'm going to be showing you how to make this very beautiful cow neck top with multiple pleated drapes. I'll also be showing you how to get so many pleats as you like. You can see my have like three to four pleats, but not to worry. I'll be showing you how to get so many pleats as possible. Don't forget, you can also make use of any sleeve of your choice. This is the particular sleeve that my client wants. This is not like the simple cow neck top that after stitching, whenever you put it on, you still need to arrange the dress by yourself. This very one, after you're done stitching, this plate stays there permanently. So there's no need of you arranging it whenever you wear your clothes. So to start, first thing you need to notice that we are going to be making use of the back pattern. So we are drafting the back pattern first and with the back pattern, we are going to be drafting at the front pattern. Now, if you've watched our previous tutorials on car neck top, you'll notice that while drafting the back pattern, we made use of only one piece of paper. But for this, we are going to be putting our paper on fold. So as you can see, my paper is on fold. So we are drafting the back pattern on fold. You get to know the reason as we continue with this class. As you can see, I've gone ahead to root the basic line. This is the shoulder line here, which will also serve as the starting line. And from here, I came down by one inch for the shoulder slope. So remember I said we are going to be using this back pattern to draft at the front pattern. So we are making use of one inch for both the back and the front shoulder slope. Now from here, from this one inch of the shoulder slope to this is... um. 8.7 for the chest line so i got it by dividing my bust circumference by 6 plus 1.5 inches so from here to here is the ch chest line as you can see this is the chest line and from here to this point this is the bust point 12 inches this is the waist length 18 inches and here this is the top length plus the hemming allowance so the top length i'm working with is 26 plus 1 inch for hemming allowance so what i have here is 27 inches now what I will do next is to connect the vertical line. So first of all, we are going to be getting our neck depth. So I'm making use of a neck width of 3.5 and a neck depth of 2 inches. If you're on a smaller size, you make use of 3 inches for the neck width. So I'm making use of 3.5 because my client is on the bigger side. So from this neck width here, I'm going to connect to the shoulder slope. Now, what I'm going to do is to come here, divide what I have here by 2, make a mark on the midpoint, and go in by half inch, so 0 0.5. And from there, I'll connect to the shoulder. After that, to get the other curve, what I'll do is to divide my bust circumference by Four. So I'm working with a boss circumference of 43 divided by 4 will give me 10.75. So I'll impute the 10.75 here. This is the 10.75. And I'll be adding 1 inch for ease and 1 inch for seam allowance. Total of 2 inches. Now after this, what I'll do is to connect the other armhole curve. So this is what I have. After that, what I will do is to divide the waist circumference by 4. I'm working with waist 40 plus 2 inches. Remember, 1 inch for seam allowance and the other for ease. So this is the top length line here. I'll divide the hip circumference by 4. I'm working with hip 47 divided by 4 is 11.75 plus 2 inches for ease and allowance. Here, I'll connect. After connecting, this is basically it. What I'll do now is to add the allowance, the half inch. I'll add half inch on the neckline, half inch on the shoulder, and half inch on the armhole. As you already know, this side is already having the same allowance. 
so as you can see this is half inch on the neck on the shoulder and on the armhole for the sleeve now what i'll do is see on those parts here this top length line here if you want the this down part to be straight it all depends on you but my clients want it curved so what i will do is to go up here by 2.5 inches here and here i'll measure what i have here and divide it by two make a mark on the midpoint and connect so as you can see this is basically it for the back what i'm going to do now is to cut this out and i will show you how to use this pattern here remember this is the back how to use this back pattern here to trace out the front pattern so guys we're about to cut the front part now if you've watched our previous tutorial on cow neck top you know that we did the slash and spread method we use this we slashed this um back part for us in order to cut the front part but for this we are going to be doing the tracing method and i will need you to pay attention to this now this um particular part here you can also do it on your fabric as well but for this i'll be using this pattern for the sake of this um tutorial now if you are using a pattern if you are making this front part directly on your fabric what you need to do is to place your fabric on fold i hope you understand and this marker pen i'm using here with self as um your chalk now what we are going to do is to place this pattern here this is the back pattern we are going to place it you can see the line i've ruled here this will be where the tip of this um pattern here will be i hope you can see what i'm doing so this is it now from this tip i went up by 10 inches this 10 inches will be for the pleat this 10 inches is not constant it depends on the amount of pleats you want to have the number of folds drapes or pleats you want to have so this here is 10 inches for the pleats now from this 10 inches i still went up by two inches so this is for the hemming so i'll use this for the hemming what I also want you to note is that if you watched our previous tutorial on this um, cow neck top, you will notice that we cut out the facing for this. But for this, the pleat and the facing fabric, we are all cutting them together on this um, front piece. I hope you understand. So what I'm going to do next is to place my pattern as I've done like so. Now what I will also do is to come here from this point you can see the point i have here i'm going to go up here straight to the hem of this remember this is for the hemming and we're also using it just for the hem or for the facing of this arm um, of the neckline now what i'm going to do is to rule a straight line from here to this point here so after ruling a line as you can see what we are going to do please at every point make sure the middle point of this is meeting with the mid point of this so place your pattern properly now after ruling the line as you can see what i'm going to do now is to start tracing so to do that you see the tip of this um shoulder here i'm going to bring it to this tip remember this is where our shoulder is this is for the pleat so i'm going to put it here on the tip of this here and make sure the tip of this is also on this line i made here please watch carefully you can see that as i have placed it this part here went outside of this paper it's totally okay now what i will do is to trace so pay attention to this i'll begin to trace the armhole to this tip and when i get here what i'll do is to come down by at least one inch from here when you get to at least one inch below the armhole all you need to do is to reposition this like so now one thing you should notice that as you reposition it please make sure that this tip here is directly facing this line here and just use a line here to make sure that both of them are matching up another place you should note is this part here 
make sure it's on this line and another place is here see here make sure it is not crossing this particular paper here so both of them must match on the middle here the aim of this is to make sure the damp part maintains the body shape that even when the upper part is draped the damp part is not bogus so you from there you continue tracing after tracing you bring it out blend it up like so and guys as you can see we are done this is the front part remember we are cutting it on fold so this is the front part all we need to do is to cut this out from here to this part and down to the hem of this top So guys, you can see what we have on the front. So to finish this up, I want you to take note of this shoulder line here. Please take note of it. It's very important. You're going to be needing it while pleating this. So next thing you're going to do to this hem part is to come in here by one and a half inches. So from here, come in by one and a half inch and slant. Slant it and cut it off now what i want you to notice that remember i went up here i extended this line here by 10 inches for my pleats now that is because i want either two or three pleats on the front area now if you want to make use of if you want to have so many pleats on the front area what you need to do is to multiply see what is left on your shoulder here you measure it And multiply by three so whatever you have that will be the length of the extension you will have on this split that way it will give you so many pleats on this front area i hope you understand so guys next thing we are going to do now is to use this pattern here the back pattern to cut out the back part on fold and we're also going to use this front one to cut out the front one on fold if you also notice you will see that we didn't add that to this split while making your own you do not have to add that to it I'll cut out the pattern, the fabric, sorry, and we'll go over to sewing. So guys, for this tutorial, I'm making use of a silk fabric and I'm using two yards of this um, fabric. Now, as you can see, I've gone ahead to use this front pattern here to cut out the front fabric. And as you can see, it is on fold. So I want you to take note of your hemline and where your shoulder is. Now you can see the back as well i also cut the back on fold now we are going to start joining all the pieces together so this is the front and when i open it up this is what we have here as you can see now this is where the hem is and this is where the shoulder is first of all what we are going to do is to take this part here to the weaving machine so what you do is to overlock this part then after overlocking it you fold it this way after overlocking you bend it over to this part here use your hemming gum to press it down you can also use your sewing machine to stitch this but you know we have done it finishing so hemming gum is just okay for it and after that what i'm also going to do is um for this part here this is the back part as you can see so this is the back part. What I'm going to do is to use my bias tape to finish up the neckline. So guys, you can see what I have on the back. I've already tidied it up with my bias tape. So this is the front part as you can see. I whipped this part and used my hemming gum to tidy it up. Now what we are going to do now is to make our pleats and that is where the back pattern comes in. Remember the back pattern I told you to make on fold. So this is where it comes in so what you do is to open it up like this now bring the front part here and lay your fabric right side facing up as you can see now this is remember this is um our armhole here and this is where the pleat extension started this pleat extension is what we are going to make our pleat with now to do that what we are going to do is see this part here we're going to bring it to this neckline here to this shoulder point here this is the part i have um the facing so i'm going to bring it here go up by 
1 to 1.5 inches either 1 inch or 1.5 depends on the neck depth i want so what i'll do is to pin it down here please do not start here make sure you go up so i'll go up and pin it down now what i will do is to start pleating you can see the direction of the pleat i'm making i'll pleat and pin down So, remember this is where my armhole started. The other place is for the pleat um, extension. Now, what I'm going to do is to make sure that this armhole tip here is on this part here. I'm not going to pleat above the pleat extension that we have. So, what I'll do is to make sure I still have my armhole intact. So, you can see that my armhole is still there. I only made use of the pleat extension that I have, that I added. And you can see that when I get to this point, I didn't go up. I made sure that the armhole stopped at this armhole line. So the both of them are on the same level. Now, after that, what I also do is to come to this other side here and pleat. Now, if you want this to be higher, if you want your cleavage depth to be higher, what you're going to do is to push this up you understand so the inch you took up here is still the same inch we take up here so what i'm going to do now is to measure what i have here so from here i went up by 1.5 inches so i'm going to go up here by 1.5 inches as well and i'll pleat now at this point i'll check what i have as my cleavage depth i like what i'm having here but if this is not okay by me if it's too deep what i'm going to do is to go up here so to push this up and also push this up make sure that the same inches you took here is still the same inch you're going to take here so but i like what i'm having here so what i'll do is to continue pleating now remember i pleated this way so this other part is still going to face this way so that both of them can rhyme So guys, you can see what I have. The tip of the armhole is still on the level of this armhole here. Please, this part can go as higher as it wants. But when you get to this part, make sure it doesn't go higher than what you have on this paper. So you can see what we have. Remember I told you earlier that if you want more pleats than this, all you need to do is to measure what you have on the shoulder area and multiply it by 3. And that will be the extension you will have. Can see what we have here is already looking beautiful so what i'm going to do now is to take this i'm not going to remove this pin please don't take off your pin that is why we are making use of this paper i'm going to take this to my sewing machine and stitch here after stitching i'll cut out the excess i'll do that on both parts stitch and cut out the excess after stitching it up you can see what i have now what i will do is to peel this paper off Now, what we are going to do next is to bring back the back part. So, you are laying the back and the front side, right side facing each other. Here. So, match the shoulder up like this. And stitch the shoulder. After stitching the shoulder, you also match the sides up. And stitch. As you can see. So guys, after joining, you can see what we have. You can see the pleats here looking so beautiful. Next is to attach the sleeve of my choice. So you can make use of any sleeve of your choice. I'll also hem the down part and show you what we have. So guys, we've come to the end of this class. You can see the beautiful top that we have here. Feel free to rock this with either a skirt or a pants trouser.
and oh yes we have the making of this beautiful palazzo trouser on this channel from the drafting to the cutting and to the stitching everything about it is right here on this channel you can check the comment section for the link to the tutorial we also have different skirt tutorials just in case you want to rock this with a skirt do not forget to hit on the like button share and comment and if you're yet to subscribe what are you waiting for please take a second to hit on the subscribe button thank you so much for watching please follow me on instagram at modernman underscore apparel and on facebook at vivian chukuneke till i see my next class thank you so much for watching and modern woman bye for now